السلام علیکم سعیدی علیکم السلام As a continuation to yesterday's talk, mm-hmm. Saidi, what if the husband is not acting like the one? You just answered that. Yeah, that, that was the, the answer for that. The, 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 if somebody hears this and takes anything out of its sequence then it's irrelevant. So if, if the person is not striving to, to serve Allah serve Prophet if they're serving shaitan then how could anyone listen to shaitan? So that's no longer relevant. This is for a believing family whom are both trying their best to submit. But because they're listening to modern media, their understanding of their role is being confused. They don't even understand their gender anymore, more or less the role they play. Everything on social media, even wrapped in, in, in Islamic garb is telling them, you're the one. When the nothing is telling them, no, be a nukht. Say, no, no, your partner, 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 there is no shariq. Not with Allah, not with Prophet and not with your spouse. He's looking for his rib, not for a partner. Partner, go get in business. It's not a partnership and then want to vote over everything. It's completely different. He's, he's looking for his rib. Allah promised that I created from your rib your reality. Means it's from within you. And what we call the, the, the rib is your sineh, your chest in which it encases your heart. And this is a path towards sainthood. That's why then the women don't have to do everything. If they took the path of being a nukht, Allah would grant them sainthood by serving the house, serving the, the husband, being loving, being kind, having good character, good manners. And that's how the sainthood dress would be coming. Not by saying, no, 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 I have to be like the one, me and you were partner, I'm going to go learn too. I'm going to be there, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. No, you don't need to. You actually have to learn how to be a nukht because that's your door to sainthood. Then the man. He says, because his nature is, I'm going to be the one and his nature is not to listen to the shaykh and that's when everything's upside down. So that's why it's so hard for men to come and to be a nukht and that's how the shaykh achieved to follow his shaykh and his shaykh followed his shaykh and they inherit from Prophet Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Prophet this reality in which to serve Allah And through that immense power, because these, these people whom they're nukhs, they make du'a and things happen. If they want money, it comes by their du'a. They want this, it comes by their du'a. They want something different in the home, it comes by their du'a. And the many dalil of awliyaullah that the reverse is Rabbiul Alawiya who was a big wali and she atta- attained sainthood because her husband was an alcoholic and abusive. And she had a sincere love for Allah and Prophet and we described before. She would go into her muraqabah and spend immense amount of time connecting with Prophet And in many cases the man was very abusive so he was definitely not a good one. And as a result of her taslim, taslim, awliya described that she achieved such a rank in her sainthood that in one of the nights this abusive man fell asleep. She went into her muraqabah and 
Every time she would meditate the presence of Prophet would appear and lights were coming out the cracks of the door but the physical presence of Sayyidina Muhammad would appear and dialogue and would convey into her heart because she had immense station after that they, they couldn't look into her face when awliya would come or people would come for ziyarat. But in this connection she had one of the times the oppressive man woke up he opened the door and he died from the light. So Allah can take people out of existence if he's angered by one of these nuqhs. Means you gain Allah's hearing, you gain Allah's love by playing the role Allah wanted you to play. But shaitan puts in your fear that if I don't act like a one I will never get anything done, nothing will happen the way I want it to happen. And say, no this is what everyone's battling about, it's actually not true that if you become a nuqt everything will happen. This is how the shaykhs live in their reality. They don't go out and try to you know force people to do something, they merely become nuqt, 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 they make du'a and Allah make everything to happen, inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Shaykh Walaykum as salaam How does a shared respect between man and woman, husband <coughs> and wife play into the nukt and one roles? Sometimes I have to try to bring my mom and dad together. I don't know, let's worry about ourselves <coughs> instead of trying to make my mom and dad to be nukt. But in my own life what am I doing? So. That's all we have to worry about <coughs> and there's no difference for the men because it's very difficult for men to go and sit and to listen and follow guidance and so on you know because their, their minds are always thinking, their minds are always trying to second guess. So there's many battles for everyone at every level, it's not easy for anyone. So for someone to say, oh it's going to be so difficult, well because then your tariqah becomes your living room. So for the man it's different, he's going to go into the living room of the shaykh and that becomes his tariqah. Or if they're watching online and they're trying their best to keep their sunnah, keep the, the way, go out and be of service. So it's not something easy and it wasn't supposed to be something easy. But if they do it, they're consistent and they hold tight and don't, don't run, then they can reach to be a nuqt. And as they reach to be a nuqt they start to become dressed. So these men whom are nuqh they start to hear what people can't hear, they hear through their consciousness. If they close their eyes they begin, because this is the hadith, they begin to see what people can't see and each one sees it a different depending upon Allah's gift upon them. And then the whole hadith al-Qudsi dresses, it's no different for the woman, say, well I didn't get to go there and it didn't happen to me and like that, no because if you become a nuqt where you are. Allah will dress you the same reality in which you sit there and become a nuqt and do the responsibilities Allah has given to you, you close your eyes and you'll hear what people don't hear and you'll see what people don't see. And they know that, I know this is a fact for the people who, who meditate and do their muraqabah. So it's not if everybody pays, plays their role they reach their reality. But when everybody wants to play another role, what do you reach? Shaitan's confusion. That's what we gave the example last night, look at today, look everyone's playing a different role, right? They put the, the men in, in skirts and they, they make the, the women to be a boxer and everybody gets hurt. They want to do it, that's okay, that's no problem but this is, uh, is going to lead to difficulty. But if we want to reach sainthood, because we don't force anybody into religion, but the people whom are coming and say they want to achieve, they want to achieve their sainthood, they want to achieve a nearness to Allah that's why are you doing it if you're not doing it to, to reach to the highest realities and the highest level of submission. Then play the role that Allah has given to you, inshaAllah. People want to identify as, a, as anything they want but if they want to reach sainthood then that's something else. As-salamu alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum as-salam 
When a separation occurs and the children learn disrespect for the father, how to heal the children and reestablish respect in them? Yeah, that becomes the, the damage and the difficulty. And there is also uh, quite a few questions on disrespectful children. Yeah, that that, but that's a given. That's, yeah, yeah the, the, the children are going to be disrespectful if we didn't follow that system, right? So if the system is, is about everybody being a one in the house, that's why we have difficulties. The, the, uh, the, f the female is a one, the man is, is really not a one anymore because he's being beaten down and then the children are one. So then the role is exactly how shaitan wants that. Now there's no more imam in the house because everyone has de defamed and effaced the imam, there's nothing of a barakah. And as a result shaitan runs wild within the, the home and then who's going to be the wild? These are the children. Because the children are like little cubs, it's okay cute when they're small but those wild cubs they become wolves. And that's why then these majority of these homes have like these wolves, the children are dangerous because of this system of, of, uh, of difficulty. And again many other variables, there are men who don't want to be religious, they don't want to submit. So then of course it's going to bring a corruption into the home and a difficulty into the home. So this is all you know how shaitan makes everything to be difficult. But what we're talking about and we don't want to address every possible variation of this, of this subject is for believing men and believing women. Because that's always the assumption, the tariqah is based on a believing man, believing woman, they're trying to reach realities. And they're confused on the realities thinking, no, no I, I have to be like a one. Actually no, if you want to reach your reality learn to be a nukht. So there are going to be many variables outside of that but if we stick within the believing man, the believing woman trying to raise a family within tariqah and its realities inshaAllah. Uh, as salaamu alaykum Ya Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam <coughs> How do we find the right way to complete our deen with so few halal avenues to find a spouse that is on the same tariqah. Yeah, difficulty, inshaAllah. But keep praying, keep praying, inshaAllah that Allah send somebody and uh, inshaAllah that now again is a, is a difficult time because of the, the condition of men. That very few men are trying to reach towards being a nukht, right? So when you watch these people, even this so-called Muslim people and, and uh, no shirt and tattoos and talking about Allah is a, a deception. So the, the way of the khuluq and character is the most important. Not the message being given but the vessel in which it's been dressed is the most important. Some people may have good talk but the glass is, is contaminated. So look at what they're looking at, look at how they're acting and everyone trying to be you know like a gangster but then there's not going to be a very good collection and potential and that becomes the last days in which the corruption of, of people, the corruption of their, their character becomes rampant. And at that time only you can pray and pray and pray that Allah send good people and, and good spouses for, for families and children inshaAllah. There is no quick solution. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah When we speak about testing, mm. does it have to be a test in humility or can it be tested through mental or physical health problems or are those different? No test is anything, you can be tested with work. You can be tested with your knowledge, you can be tested with your work, you can be tested with your home, you can be tested with your children. There's infinite possibilities of imtihan and testing from Allah depending upon what is the test about. So if it's testing on character, testing on anger, test, testing on your rizq, te testing on what, what's being tested. So infinite amount of potential uh, testings. 
But just to be prepared for testing is important. That's why then Allah gives us tools to be successful in the test. If you don't meditate, don't contemplate, don't try to connect your heart, any test comes you're going to go upside down, you're going to get angry. But the one whom enlightens their heart, they have an understanding of what's coming. And the test becomes clear, uh oh, I think I know what this is about. And they understand it and Allah gives a sakinah and tranquility to their hearts because that's the light of faith that guides them. If we don't develop that light of faith then what guides you through difficult times? Your brain? My goodness no. The brain will deceive you in difficult times, make you to make choices that are not correct and irrational and the, and the importance is the heart inshaAllah. As Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam If our wife won't give the one to the man, is it better to just submit and wait for Allah to change the situation than to try and keep pushing to be the one? <laughs> yeah, inshaAllah <laughs> <laughs> that has its own purification. So. What, what can you say to that? I said, these are the, the reality of what a, a relationship should have been, what the home should have been, what men should have been, right? Doesn't mean men are coming to tariqah but had they wanted to reach reality, so stay away from this home subject because you're going to not, you're going to have infinite amount of complaints coming in. But if, if men wanted to reach Allah, if we stick with just that subject, we look at social media and the guy is, is, is fighting another alim and he, they're all Ahlul Sunnah guys. They're like, yeah, 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 but it's all, tell me what the meaning of this word is. You don't know the meaning of this word, trying to insult him, ridicule him. Said, the, and that's this, this not is telling us, do you think this is gaining you access to Allah that you bring somebody else down and that made you to be more prominent in Allah's eyes? Because no more manners and teaching and then what is this? Go then to a park and yell at people or, or, or be insulting and talk loud and insult. But the whole process should have been when I calibrate myself and my deen it should be based on my nukht that I'm going to warn and teach people be nothing, be nukht, be nothing. And khuluqul azim in which Allah gives the character of Prophet you are of a magnificent character. And that's why then if you read the seerah of Prophet you cry most of the times because of how difficult people were upon Prophet how harsh people were and he never ordered the companions, kill them, cut their heads, nothing. They would come and urinate in the masjid. And the sahabi were ready to kill because it's a masjid for Prophet He said, no, 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 just cover it, just calm the situation down. So you see the khuluq and the immensity of the character and people would admit things to Prophet and he said, leave it. And we're not here to cut your heads and cut your hands, just leave it. And they said, okay, well somebody stole something, so okay before you want to cut somebody's hands, find out why he stole and if he was hungry punishment should go to you, the why he was hungry on your area before you want to harm people. Means the khuluq and the character of Prophet was exemplatory and that's what made the immensity, the immensity of that reality. So then when we see all of these things for deen, this is a reminder for ourselves that don't go taking courses thinking you can go to the park and, and debate and fight people. But I took up my deen to be nothing, I'm going to practice all my life just to be a nukht, help people and advise and advise in a way in which I remain to be a nukht. And that's why then teach about the greatness of Allah teach about the greatness of Sayyidina Muhammad so that everyone knows to connect their heart with the One. And then teach people that to be nothing, to be nothing, to be nothing. So alhamdulillah if we take that same symbol in our work and home and everything then it should answer all our questions. 
and should ask if we ask any questions in our life is, am I being a nukht or am I being a one? And that becomes a simple uh, understanding now, even children can do that. That in relationship to their religion and reaching God, just ask them, do you think what you're doing is going to make you one or dot, a zero? And they can answer honestly, no I think this one is going to make me more like a one. I want to go here, is that going to make you a nukht or one? No, I think it's going to be a one. So this just makes everything simple, inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, if jumping the rings is a gift from the shaykh, is the love for the Prophet also a gift from the shaykh? What's jumping the rings? The, the atoms, the names, I think you were talking about. Oh. Jumping the rings. I thought it was like jumping hoops like the circuses. <laughs> but I don't do jumping the rings. <laughs> So what it, is the jumping the rings is a gift from who? If jumping the rings is a gift from the shaykh, mm -hmm. is the love for the Prophet also a gift from the shaykh? I don't know if I said that jumping the rings was a gift from the shaykh. I think teaching you about the rings was a gift from the shaykh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, you need from Sultan al Nasira, right? We said that in the orbit of every electron, needs a energy and a qudra from the nucleus, that's not from the shaykh. So that's from the nucleus there has to become a, a power from the authority of Allah to the authority of Sayyidina Muhammad and then comes through that ulul am. And these are the energy that hit that electron and by virtue of hitting it, it brought it up closer. So it means that a test comes and tests come in your life and boom by that hit you're coming and moving up closer to the Divine. So the gift from the shaykh is the teachings that how to connect, how to bring that energy, that light, these knowledges. If my light is to traverse these layers to the center then I know I have to be a nukht. So they all fall into the same understanding. Either you want to stay in your orbit and you don't want to release your negative charge, your negative character then stay in your orbit, you're not going to progress. But if you came to progress then you meditate, contemplate, accept the, the challenges that Allah putting upon and you begin to move closer into the Divine the Presence. And people can become purified in many ways. They stay quiet, they become pure, stay quiet, 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 quiet. But the reality of the person whom is quiet and is, is being dressed by Allah then that can become something very difficult. So imagine that a man who stays quiet in his home and is beginning to become very close to Allah So like the awliya can become abused by people who don't know them. So forget the person is, is, is awliya but if they're very pious and they stay quiet and quiet and things happen in the house, it, it's exactly the reverse of what we described. Allah becomes angered in the house and things start to happen to people. Not the du'a of that person because they never make du'a against their home. But Allah becomes angered at the house and begin to hit the different people. That's because there's a pious person in there and Allah is their defender. So it doesn't matter if he's a man or a woman. Whoever's playing the role of one and nukh then they have to be very careful. So pious people if they don't talk back to you and they don't yell at you means they didn't take their right. If they didn't take their right Allah will now interfere and Allah will take his right against the servant. So that's better that the man just you know kind of say, what you're doing is wrong. Because if he stays too quiet, too quiet, too quiet then Allah begins interfering and difficulty comes into the home. So it doesn't mean it, it went away, so it's just like the reverse. So that's what we said for the woman when she's a nukht and remains quiet, Allah says, what do you want? We'll make the, th the change to happen. So there, uh, there is a power happening in people's homes and in people's lives and, it, and no, no action is wasted in Allah's way. So everything Allah is taking hisab. So that's the characteristic. That they stay quiet and be careful of those quiet people. 
because in their heart Allah is very dear, Allah loves them very much. And if he becomes angered, he can start sending lightning the way where he wants it. And that's the problem and that's why people don't understand why things are happening. And that's true with anything. So when pious people stay quiet during oppression then a lot of things can happen. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يسيفون والسلام على المرسلين وحمد لله رب العالمين إلا شرف النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى أصحابه الكرام وغلم شيخنا في طريقة نشمندية العالية وسائر وساداتنا وصدقنا الفاتحة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is Shaykh Nurjan Thank you for watching the video that you're watching InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.